from all killer, no filler brawls to bullseye finishing shots. The year of 2022 produced a record number of stunning knockouts. Over the past 12 months, we've witnessed shattering slams. Decimating kicks. Hurricane-like backfists. And chilling walk-offs. It's time to remember the main characters of those adrenaline-infused blockbusters. Our list starts with beautiful elbow work by Ricardo Ramos. Five years earlier, he was a nominee for the Knockout of the Year. Oh, he got him. In June of 2022, the Brazilian squared off against Danny Chavez with hopes of bringing the house down again. The featherweight bout opened with a brief kick exchange, and Ricardo met expectations with a daring maneuver. Ramos spun around with a slaying elbow, catching lightning in a bottle once more. Molly McCann was not keen on staying in the Brazilian shadow. Unlike her best friend, Patty Pimblett, Meatball didn't make the judges' gift list and had to take care of business herself. But you gotta be ready for that. But it's not just... With a vicious reverse elbow in the clinch, Molly got her first stoppage in four years under the UFC banner. In July, she put another unlucky foe in the rearview mirror for the second time in a row. That same month, Abdul Rahman Dudayev joined the spin and starch trend in the Russian promotion ACA. During his nine year stint in the UFC, Drew Dober has repeatedly confirmed his elite status as a striking hit machine. By summer of 2022, the lightweight Giga Chad with a chiseled jaw had sent six out of ten antagonists through the looking glass. In July, he faced former Titan FC champion Rafael Alves. In their head-to-head -head clash, the dynamic duo immediately set the tone for the confrontation. However, the energetic Brazilian was one step ahead in the first round, shining in open space. In the second, the American turned the pressure up a notch with a heavy emphasis on the body. Oh, beautiful kick to the body. As you fight that Alves continued to follow the single bursts paradigm oh, before embracing the slugfest. That's it. But confusing the canvas with the dance floor, Take that shot. Rafael was left with a leaking gas tank. Body kick for Doberland. In the final lap. Dober did not let the opponent escape. Alves. And good. Oh! Left up to the body! To the booty! A fierce liver shot sent the disco Brazilian to La La Land. In addition, a decapitation by Drew took place in December when Bobby Green left his hands low. These guys are trading. Man, why you see that? Is that what I want? Russian lightweight Vyacheslav Barshov also contributed to the annual body shot highlight. The question is, who's... Oh, body shot! Barshov has him down! A crippling left hook to the liver and a traditional squat dance attached. Victory in the first finish of 2022 is a big one! <laughs> 
which this might potentially be a fantastic... Not that long ago, spinning head kick knockouts were in short supply in MMA. Yet, as a wise man said, modern problems require modern solutions. That's precisely the approach that Manny Akpan took versus Connor Hitchens in April. Able to stuff the tape now. Oh my god! Oh my god! Incredible! A well disguised capoeira style wheel kick instantly turned Manny into a Cage Warriors sensation. Able to stuff the tape now. Oh my god! The ACA event in August had its brilliant rotational action as well. Oh! A merciless pirouette by Mansour Habibulayev is a perfect showcase of genuine talent outside the UFC. Making a splash in your first appearance on the big stage is a feat that only a few can pull off. But Josh Quinlan was lucky enough to be an exception. His initial moment of fame as a pro came in 2019. Whoa, he's hurt bad. That is, he is on oh, rubber leg. Just two years later, Josh was fighting on the Contender Series. His UFC career launch in August, opposite Jason Witt, also went off with a bang. Because that's half the battle as well. I'm not a bit. After crucifying the adversary with a left hook, Quinlan was a gentleman and saved him from a ride on a stretcher. The week prior, Kamaru Usman's younger brother, heavyweight Mohammed, made his promotional debut. The Nigerian chose not to hold back. Never mind that, we got two big boys slugging it out. A squeaky clean job was blemished only by the obvious gratuitous hammering of the lifeless fella. In November, Dominic Reyes fell victim to another left hand beheading when sharing the cage with Ryan Spann. Although there was a time when John Jones ran from him like a real-life Forrest Gump, nowadays Dominic's chin has been shot more than 50 cent. Let's hope the veteran rides out. Oh my Former Bellator welterweight king Andrei Karishkov has been handing out concussions for over a decade. Oh, beautiful left! That's from basement. Jump me! And showed an obvious knack for spinning back kick knockouts. That fight, I refereed that fight. Now it's oh, just huge. In February 2022, confronted by ex UFC fighter Chancer Encounter, Andre supplied the Liver King production line with a new source of material. Native of Mahaska, Oklahoma, and he gets Kurskov on top, and Kurskov putting the K. With the very first connection, Kurdish Cole fractured five of the veterans' ribs and reclaimed the status of Bellator's top talent. Even watching it is painful. Fast forward eight months, Muin Gafura featured his own edition of the abdomen piercing whirlwind. He's to take a chance and be first with his boxing. The cannonball found its home, and the agonizing Diego Silva sunk in like the Titanic, cracked in half. Gafurov was crowned the LFA champion for this victory. In November, Natalia Silva made her mark, throwing a wicked U-turn with a twist at the end. Desperately diving for the legs, the counterpart ran into a staggering spinning back kick. Head down tackle attempts with no setup never end well. It took Ilya Tapuria just two years to go from a little known prospect to one of the most valuable assets the UFC has at featherweight. He hated Patty Pimblet's guts before it was cool. Fuck you, 
Rampage. As for his combat acumen, the Matador is unbeaten in MMA with 12 finishes in 13 triumphs. However, when facing former Cage Warriors belt holder Jay Herbert in March, it was Ilya's opponent that drew first blood. Speed advantage. Oh! After a short ground struggle initiated by Tapuria, the Englishman attempted to finish off the wounded predator. Will Tapuria meet the bell? Massive shots from Jai Herbert. We'll be back after the break. Having recovered on the stool, Ilya made the fans experience true catharsis. On him, can't get a hold of the legs. Oh. 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 Unleashing a chin-spinning overhand, El Matador ended the bullfight to the cheers of the crowd. A month earlier, future title challenger Jamal Hill created yet another meme starring Johnny Walker. Walker moving like this, you gotta dodge the crazy punch. Oh, oh my gosh! That's Jamal it! Hill laid him out! What another opponent to For a moment, Walker thought he was Ubisoft's Altair and made a leap of faith into a haystack. Johnny, you bastard, always going out in style. Like this, you gotta dodge the crazy punch. Oh! And in conclusion, the December annihilation of Rainier de Ritter at the hands of Anatoly Malikhin. That's when they're not moving at Rainier didn't pull through this violent gunplay, and Malikhin became the one double champion. Какой же я красавчик, бля! Tampayek unofficially winning. Despite the godfather of cemetery kicking retiring, Crow Cop's legacy is still very much alive. The stress test of Marlon Vera's crown aspirations is the proof of concept. In recent years, the Ecuadorian has established himself as a legend killer. And the strict headmaster of New School. In August, on the other side stood former bantamweight monarch Dominic Cruz. The Dominator immediately set a high pace. Slow starter. We talked about this. Cheeto first dropped him at the second minute mark. Cheeto's got to come. Oh, oh, Cruz was not discouraged by the fall and continued with lightning fast blitzes. Cheeto seems to be a step behind, a bit confused. Oh, that's a heavy kick by. Nevertheless, now Vera caught on to the enemy's chaotic movement. Oh! Side down! Double jab and a right sits down. Cruz and now Vera. Get your points and then get off the oh. ball. Start Side with the jab. And after a probing high kick in the second round, Vera with a nice jab and a head kick. In the fourth, he fired one with vicious intent. That is the key word there. He's at the oh. Even consecutive knockdowns with the hands did not dissuade the Dominator. Howbeit, the shin across the face sent the veteran straight to a hospital bed. A week before this happened, the infamous open stance double attack was manifested by Brian Battle. Battle saying in it. Linking together a smokescreen cross and a roundhouse kick, Battle left the octagon with 50k extra for performance of the night. In March, Anatoly Boyka managed to make MMA headlines with a funeral blow. Scott Adkins would be proud, that's for sure. The second meeting between Zhang Wei Li and Yuan Yanjicic was one of the most anticipated rematches on the women's side, and for good reason. Just two years prior, they had forever entered the history books with a white knuckle thrill ride in a championship bout. Oh! 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 
sullen and swollen upon losing a split decision, Yin Jiechik agreed to come back only for a sequel in June of 2022. She was all the rage at the outset. I mean, oh! But Zhang responded with an outside trip and spent the rest of the round pounding away. In the second, the Chinese phenom put an end to the diligy. Look at that on the carotid archery. By landing a spinning back fist, Wei Li finally sent the former queen to a well-deserved rest. As usual, ACA fighters did not lag behind, and in September, a revolver backfist was issued by Viktor Makarenka. Although rich in artsy KOs, 2022 was largely the year of the flying knee. However, even in such a competitive field, Demetrius Johnson managed to stand out. The former octagon dictator with a record of 11 title defenses was no stranger to a memorable finish. He does everything perfect. If you, if you, oh! The flyweight great hit the front pages once more, inspired by one champion, Adriano Marias. Position now for the champion. Throws it near the door. DJ's hurt. Things weren't going so well for Mighty Mouse in the prologue of the rematch in August. Four of five from DJ. Demetrius figured out the opponent's marching orders by the middle rounds, and gold began to slip from Marias' waist. Johnson calculated the perfect trajectory and finally got back at the offender. Slightly smaller movements. Oh, big right, DJ! He's done it! Big knee! That's it! DJ just made a statement. DJ just made a statement. Demetrius Johnson! Wobbled with a cross, the Brazilian backed away to the fence and greeted the knee with his skull. Another masterpiece added to Mighty Mouse's gallery. Right, DJ, it. Big knee. On the other side of the ocean, the big drama show took place in November, when Chris Gutierrez made Frankie Edgar black out at his retirement party in Madison Square Garden. It allows guys to build. That's it. Huge knee! A picture-perfect knee proved once again that only Father Time is undefeated. The thing about that though is like, it, it allows guys to feel... Oh! That's it. Huge knee! The former Bellator kingpin, Michael Chandler, is of that rare breed that guarantees a spectacle no matter what. His first knockout of the year candidate was produced in 2016 versus Patricky Freire. During the same stretch, future interim champ Tony Ferguson massacred lightweights in the UFC cage. You know, he's oh, oh, my. for the honor oh, of the oh, ultimate fighter. Yes. Yes. And while El Kukui's title hopes had turned to dust by the time of their scrap in May 2022, the Octagon War Hero did not disappoint. Oh, big oh. In retaliation, Chandler unloaded to the body and blasted a double leg. Having recharged during the break, Iron Michael returned the favor. Whether due to bad luck or reaction speed deterioration, poor Ferguson did not see the front kick coming. Spark and go wrecking takes silver in our catalog. In December, a concussive combo thundered in the ACA cage. A stupefying wheel kick, complemented by a shin to the jaw, pen and paper to write a name in the death note. Before we move on to first place, let us recall the moments that didn't make the final list, but definitely deserve a shout-out. 
in their February plus-size division clash. Tai Tuivasa put the Black Beast out of commission. A brutal elbow induced visions of Ronda Rousey's finest parts, and Lewis took a moment to cool down those big cojones. Confronting a former champion in July, Rafael Fiziev scored his fifth bonus in a row. An elegant switch dance combo landed Dos Anjos on the canvas, and Fiziev in the title race. And how can we forget Alex Pereira's run for the gold? In the summer, the bitterness of defeat burned the loud mouth of Sean Strickland. Good because he's... In November, the long-reigning champion Israel Adesanya spent four rounds squandering his chances to avenge two kickboxing losses to the Brazilian. As talented as Israel, oh, he landed a big knee. Oh, huge right now, left at the end of the round. And when Alex accelerated in the fifth, Izzy regretted not bringing a helmet to the octagon. The body tonight. A coup d'etat against middleweight world order could become the main chakra of the year, if not for the next absolute gem. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. Yeah, this is it. Oh! Oh. Oh, Considering the outcome of the first encounter between Leon Edwards and Kamaru Usman, few were expecting a thriller in the sequel. As round five was about to end, even the commentators wrote Leon off. If it wasn't obvious enough, Leon is broken now. It's a moral victory for him, not getting finished. Uh, he may have resigned himself to losing a decision. If only they knew. At the last minute, Leon fainted across and landed a marvelous high kick. No follow-up was needed. Usman's fuse box switches tripped all at once. This is Sparta! 2022 has given MMA fans a plethora of nasty crashes. Jaw-dropping plot twists. and breathtaking comebacks. Smaller movements. Oh, oh, big right, TJ! It's done! Big knee! Be that as it may, we can only fit so many demolitions in one video. Oh, Able to stuff the tape now. Oh, oh, that's a grand Oh! Like this, you gotta dodge the crazy punch. Oh! The key word there is that. Oh! 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 If you enjoyed our countdown and want to see more, kick the like button, subscribe to the channel, and vote for sport. Headshot! Bang! Oh!